Hello, today we're going to talk about how to use KeePass XC to generate and store secure passwords. So to start off, this is an open source project. You can find it at keypassxc.org. And I'm on a Windows machine here, so we're going to go ahead and hit download for Windows. You see we have a few different options here. We can run a portable uh, version that we can run on a flash drive. We have a chocolatey package we can use. If we're on Mac OS or Linux, there are brew packages for this. There's a snap for this. Or we can compile it directly from source code. So go ahead and download that and I will see you when it's done. Okay, so now that I've got KeePass XC open, I'm going to go ahead and hit create new database. Now it's worth noting that KeePass XC databases are local files. They save in a KBDX format. So I'm going to call this one sensitive because I'm going to put some sensitive information in here. And you see we do have some uh, formatting options for our database. It can be in a KDBX 4.0 or a 3.1. I'm going to pick 4.0 because it's recommended. And we can adjust the encryption time on this as well. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it around one second. If we click on advanced, there's some other features we can use here like AES 256-bit encryption or uh, memory usage. We're not going to worry about that here. Let's just go ahead and hit continue. And then we do have a password we're going to put on the database. So I'll go ahead and put a password on there. And it's also worth noting we can add additional verification options like a key file or a YubiKey. It's worth noting that these are not in replace of a password. These are in addition to a password. So once I'm done setting this up, I'll go ahead and click done. I've got my brand new KeePass sensitive database. Let's go ahead and add an entry with this button here. And I will call it sensitive site. And here I have an option to put my username, which I'm going to go ahead and put user. And now as far as my password goes, let's get KeePass to generate one for us. So there's a dice icon here on the right. Let's click on that. And then we'll have a few different options as far as the length of the password, as well as the character set we want to use. Depending on which site you're trying to put in for, these may be a little bit different. So play around with them until you get it to work for you. I'm going to go ahead and just get the maximum level of encryption I can, and then copy it. And there's also a notes section down here we can use, but I'm going to go ahead and use it just to show you how complex these passwords can get. And then, yeah, this would be my password. And once I've gotten the site to accept it, so I click on accept, and it gen it's populated in these fields. So now I'm done. I'm good to go there. Let's go ahead and close this entry by hitting OK. And now, anytime I need the password for that site, I can right-click on it and copy the password, and then paste it into my site. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.